When couples come to the office to talk about how to build their family, I typically like to start by talking about reproductive physiology. Where do babies come from? It's the birds and the bees talk from the doctor. And I like to start here because it's the foundation for all of our diagnostic testing and treatment. To have a baby, you need a brain, a uterus and fallopian tubes, sperm, and eggs. In the ovaries, there's something called follicles. A follicle is a fancy name for an egg sac. Each follicle has one egg in it. And a woman has a whole group of follicles that are available that month. The brain makes a hormone called follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH. FSH tells the follicles in the ovary to start to grow and get big. One gets to be about 20 millimeters and all of the others die. So a woman doesn't lose just one egg every month. She loses a whole group of them. But that big one, it makes estrogen. And that estrogen tells the lining of the uterus to grow and get ready for a pregnancy. And the brain responds with a hormone called LH, or luteinizing hormone. This is what's typically detected by an ovulation predictor kit. LH is only present in the body one day every month. And 24 to 36 hours after it appears, the egg is released or ovulated. Ovulation is the craziest part of reproduction. I can't believe anybody ever gets pregnant because when that egg is released, it's just floating around your abdomen. It's next to your intestine and your appendix and the tube and the ovary. It's just somewhere in you. The end of the fallopian tube is shaped like a flower. It has to go and find the egg and vacuum it up. And if it makes it to the tube, it will live for one day. The next day the egg dies. But if you have intercourse around that time, Sperm can swim up to the egg. Sperm can fertilize the egg to make an embryo. And five days later, that embryo gets pushed into the uterus where it has to burrow in and attach to your blood vessels. And if it does all of that, it'll make pregnancy hormone or HCG that will disrupt the next cycle from happening again. So it is not easy for anybody at any age to have a baby. Ultimately, the pieces you need are a uterus and fallopian tubes, sperm and eggs. And this is where our diagnostic testing begins.